Oh, Titan has spawned in. Whoa, look at the damage the Titan takes! What the heck am I doing with this Titan, man? Oh, bye-bye, Titan. Yeah, four Nucleons for the win, bro. This is a battle you don't want to play. You don't want to fight this battle, friend. You don't want it. You don't want it. Look at this guy. Look, look, look. Unlimited firepower on those Nucleons. The Fenrir clearly has chosen the wrong opponent. Here we have a Mars robot slapping, slapping him out of existence real quick. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to one of the most overpowered laser weapons we have in War Robots after the 8.7 update. Can you believe it? 3,830 damage per bullet on one of those Nucleons. You know how fast they fire. You you know we have four of them, you know we have the legendary pilot, well for the behemoth here, I didn't put Sam Stone in there, it makes him better, but um, then the legendary pilot boosts will miss and I think they are more important here. We have two different behemoths ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be crazy, let's jump into Beacon Rush and ruin completely whatever is coming at us that has the red color over it. <laughs> Alright, but first, welcome to Raid Shadow Legends, today's sponsor and a truly legendary fantasy RPG for your mobile devices and PC. In Raid, the action is pretty much guaranteed. The amount of dungeons and bosses to face off against is insane. A fully voiced story campaign, the Doom Tower for those who dare, PvP challenges, faction wars, I mean, whatever you can imagine, Raid has it. <laughs> What's also fun is you can lean back and enjoy the battles in auto mode, but for this, you first have to figure out the right strategy to beat the unique challenges of this stage and build the right champion's composition. And figuring out how to beat the stage for me is the most fun part about this game. Raid kicks off 2023 like a boss with immense opportunities to win in-game goodies and champions like for example with the new Forge Pass, the Titan event and the upcoming fourth year anniversary this year. Additionally for new players who download Raid after January the 1st there's a new champion select event where you can vote for your favorite champion and if it gets crowned a winner at February 10th then you can win epic in-game items as well as Amazon gift cards with a value of up to $1,000. So what are you waiting for? Use my QR code on screen or the links down below to kickstart your account with this free starter pack and make sure to log in for 7 days before February 20th to get Ronda, the MMO Pro Wrestling Mega Star, as a free legendary champion guaranteed. And use my promo code RAIDRONDA like you see here on screen uh, to get some extra party loot in your inbox and then find me in the game under the name MoneyG. Alright, so this is uh, Valley, one of my most favorite maps actually, maybe, yeah, it's in the, in the top two uh, for sure. Uh, I also combined Bio-Mechanoid uh, Nucleons with the Futuristic Nucleons here, at least on this version of the Behemoth. We have only 500 meters range, it's not the highest range in the game, uh, but uh, we should be able to have some fun, let's see. Uh, he's already throwing the turret out, so I'm gonna walk away. Uh, and there is already a dude coming up with his, um... Alright, let's see if we can do some damage to him. Ah, he's flying. And he's lagging. And he's doing all of that at the same time. Ah, too many guys shooting me. This is the problem when you do this with the behemoth here. You come up here and everyone shoots you because you're, you're such an easy target for everyone. Everybody can see you immediately. So this guy... I would like to f finish him. He's 100%. What is your problem and obsession with me? But anyways, look at the damage we can do, man. Look at the damage. He's going down really fast. He is going down so fast and I'm going down too. Because this this guy over there also has nothing better to do than to shoot at me at the same time. It's, it's crazy. You, you can't do anything. But look at the damage. Oh! He goes down so quick. Then this guy with his... Uh, what's it called here? He's probably going to open that shield anytime soon now. Uh, he's slightly out of reach. Not anymore, though. Now we can hit him and... Oh! He just lost 50% health immediately. Thankfully, I do have a second behemoth, too. So I can, once this one here gets destroyed, I can jump into the other behemoth, which I think we're gonna have to make use of, because the way things go, I don't think we're gonna survive for much longer here. But there's a Capri boy. And uh, what is that? A, oh, 500 meters range on the enemy behemoth. Come on, come on, two more eight meters and finish, nice. Oh, you have made a big mistake, my Capri friend. You have made a big mistake because we have so much firepower that never ends and stops firing. But he's making this gut good move. He's making this move to walk into us, which means I can no longer fire at him very well. But look at the damage, boom. Awesome, nice. Very good action here. I, I like this behemoth man and I like the old Nucleons. I like how they fire and look and how much freaking damage output they offer. Jesus! Um, I wish that 
I, I still have to criticize you at this point that it's still a thing for Capri's or whatever to go towards you and by just coming close to you, it's it becomes next to impossible to hit them. What do we have here? Uh, it's a... Uh, I don't know. Let's walk inside the shield of the Demeter. Inside the Demeter shield here and... Ooh, boom, he goes down and boom, he goes down. Then the Mars, look at his shield. Look at the damage, dude. I'm suppressed now. No, I was suppressed for a second. Uh-oh, Titan has spawned in. Whoa, look at the damage the Titan takes! What the heck am I doing with this Titan, man? Oh, bye-bye, Titan. Yeah, four Nucleons for the win, bro. This guy, I wanted to restore some of my weapons and uh, cool them down. Come on, pam! Nice. Ooh, that was a well-placed Mars turret right there, man. That is a really well-placed Mars turret. This guy... Oh, hey, 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 hi, ha, ha! Fire, 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 fire! Uh-oh, he's coming in. Oh, no, he's going for me. He's going for me. He's going for me. He's going for me. I'm gonna corner shoot him because I know he wants me. Okay, here we go. Full firepower. Oh, you don't want these four Nucleons in your back! <laughs> Dude! Four Nucleons just massaging the living heck out of you. Look at this guy. This is a tank. This is a freaking Fenrir tank, man. And he's just absolutely... He's counter healing, but he can't... Can't counter heal the damage coming from this setup. Look at this dude. Three shields. I don't care. You still go down, friend. Shield and extreme healing for us. And boom. What? Dude, here's an enemy Titan. And he's the, he does the thing that Titans do. And splash. <laughs> okay, let's spawn in our base. Because enemies are currently just here somehow. Where are they? Oh, it's an enemy Titan up there. We have very powerful weapons, but I also have very powerful weapons. Okay, he's gonna start to fly any second now, and I'm cooling down my weapons. The Seraph is on him. I'm just gonna go walk up there. Uh, this behemoth actually does more damage than the other. Can you believe it? This behemoth here will do more damage because we have the undamaged dealt damage drone chip on it. What? There's a second one! What? Okay, here we go. Full firepower on. Huh? What happened? Wait a minute. I was just fine a second ago, wasn't I? Was I not just fine just a second ago, dude? Yeah, look at the damage. It's these glaive weapons, man. When they hit with a triple damage thingy, they just eliminate you immediately. Okay, giving myself a shield and a heal. And then blinding the living heck out of this dude. Well, look how fast we can run. He's blinded now, so his weapons go nowhere. And that's the reason why the blinding weapons, in my, op my opinion, still outperform the Glaive and the other one, right? In terms of damage, the Glaive and the other one, whatever they're called, are more powerful. Way more powerful in terms of damage output than the laser web flying, uh, the, those, those weapons here are. But what really makes the difference here, for me, is the blinding effect. This makes such a massive change. If you fight face off in a one-on-one -on -one versus Glaive and the other weapon there, um, you can come out victoriously simply by because of the fact that you have these blinding effects. The enemy simply can't shoot you for six, seven seconds or whatever, and that makes all the difference. Outperforming the higher firepower of the enemy, no problem. So this guy here with his uh, puncher is gonna die any second now. Oh, wait a minute, he must have this drone thing where when he gets blinded, he gets the, uh, the stealth, yeah. I think so. It's the reason why he's still here, is because I blind him and then he gets, uh, stealth. Yep, yeah, he has that. It's a good choice to have currently, because there are many blinding weapons being used. Uh, but, um, in the end, he still goes down. Very powerful drone, though. Uh, I, I haven't actually experimented much with this one. Maybe I should, because blinding weapons are being used a lot on many luchadors, on many um, Ao Mings and, uh, and, and, other, and also on many of these titans here. Um, but yeah, very interesting thing to learn, in my opinion, is that the newer Glaive Titan weapons, although the damage output is insane, I think he killed my behemoth in like one hit or whatever. It, it felt like I was at 60% health, next second I was dead. Mm. 
because that third shot deals 400% damage or whatever. It's insane. Um, but um, yeah, blinding. Blinding is the the way to go right now. I think it's just uh, it, it's just really insane. Um, so we did 8 million damage. We won the game even though we were one guy down because we played for two guys at least, maybe three. That was it. <laughs> okay, let's hop into the next match, guys. I'm happy. Let's have let's have some more fun. Okay then. It seems like we're playing on Moon now. Uh, I like the Moon map too. Um, however, it's more it's the ideal map for things that can jump or fly because you can shoot over cover and land safely behind the behemoth. Yeah, he's not really able to do any of that, but we can still have a ton of fun with it because I'm gonna plan to walk underneath the bridge and that's usually where you force enemies into short-range brawls, right? That's where the short-range brawling stuff happens and that's where the Nucleons is gonna become very, very handy. Look at this. Oh, he's already shielded, but not anymore and look at the damage! Oh! Boom, there he goes. That was an enemy behemoth that we just absolutely ruined. Holy smokes, this guy got completely flattened. He had the avalanche, he also had a powerful setup, but man, not against those new crazy Nucleons. I think they may actually be a little bit too powerful even, but dude, it's, you know, as people always say, right? If you put four things maxed on a behemoth, no matter what it is, it's gonna be good. Because it's four times max. This is a battle you don't want to play. You don't want to fight this battle, friend. You don't want it. You don't want it. Look at this guy. Look, look, look. Unlimited firepower on those Nucleons. The Fenrir clearly has chosen the wrong opponent. Here we have a Mars robot slapping, slapping him out of existence real quick. This guy's rolling me around a little bit, feeling, feeling a little bullied. He's unfolding his shield. That means for the moment I can deal damage. But it's very difficult to aim at him because there's so much crap happening here. And also, again, when enemies walk this close to you, you can't shoot them. And that's really a, a very annoying thing to happen. Alright, so yeah, the focus was real and... Um, oh, I'm already getting kills here. Look at these lags, man. They freeze in mid-walk and then you know what follows next is gonna be a teleport. Alright, here is the enemy with his... Oh, he's getting that shield now, and now the shield ends. Broken through his shield. Here we have a Ravana, Ooh, who clearly took a wrong opponent choice there. What is that? It's a Mars. I can drop his shield. Something is shooting in from behind. No, it's a friend. All right, Mars boy. You didn't retreat? You're bad. You're bad, dude. Oh, hello, Kepri boy. All right, all right. Kepri is not choosing me right now. That's awesome. He gets that shield and now we are unloading firepower. Now we're unloading on him. Right when his shield goes down. Oh, boom! Dude, this is so nuts. Oh, no, I'm gonna lose my targeting system here in a second. Okay. Uh, I've already activated extra resistance here, but... Yeah, this guy also has the glaive weapon up there. I'm gonna get sniped and instantly killed. But look what I could do with this angler in just one second that I shot him. He pretty much instantly died. By the way, also an incredibly powerful setup with this update now is here uh, the nether robot with... Um... Oh, wow, I'm almost dead. Dude, I just spawned a robot and I'm almost dead because he uses glaive and the weapon that goes through our resistance and deals like unlimited damage pretty much. But he's dead too. Um, yeah, this setup here is extremely powerful too. Look at the damage we're doing to the enemy uh, Seraph there in the distance. Um, it's because these uh, weapons b benefit from uh, the 40% damage boost that was coming with the 8.7 update. Uh, the same reason why the Nucleon is so incredibly powerful too. Okay. What do we have here? It's an angler. You know, the nether robot is one of the only robots that I'm not afraid to fight anglers with because they just can't go, um, they just can't, uh, get me with their ability there. Alright, full firepower here. He wants to keep shooting. But the damage he do is, does is also pretty insane. Now we have a nice shield. Look, he's trying to come in. He's trying to blind me. But all I need to do is, like, press a button and I'm back in safety. And, uh, and so, yeah. Nether is one of the few robots that doesn't need to be uh, afraid to fight anglers. 
because they can never get close enough to you. Uh, however, the Behemoth, on the other hand, is one of those robots that's exceptionally uh, susceptible to attacks from anglers because you are so slow you can't get away from these, uh, from the blinding. And um, yeah, so what a crazy video. Ladies and gentlemen, also, again, thank you so much, Raid, for sponsoring this video. I should probably say this. These sponsors, um, some of you may not like them, but they really help me out a lot and the channel. And also, from time to time, I'm sure some of you are interested in it. And if there is any chance for it, give it a try. Because I'm sure, uh, you know, Raid is not a game that requires you to spend a ridiculous amount of time into it to have fun. You can just log in and have fun whenever you have a little bit of time. And yeah, give it a try. Would be awesome. So thank you all for watching. Have a good one. And See you in the next video. Money signing off. Bye-bye, my friends.